Welcome to Pineapple Strawberry... Strawberry? The first book I read in February and it was a very good read. Step Back in Time by Ali McNamara. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. This is about a girl named Jojo. I think she's around 28 years old. She's an accountant in 2013. She visits her friend George in a music shop and she steps on a zebra crossing and it bumps her all the way back into 1963. The reader follows Jojo trying to adjust to a brand new time zone where she's trying not to let anybody figure out that she's from the future. During the story, she ends up bumping into the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And she seems to have a different life in each time period. So once she gets bumped, she has to kind of figure out this new life going on with her. She's something different in every time. However, the two constants in her life are two people named Harry and Ellie. They were in her life back in 2013 before she stepped on the zebra crossing and got hit by a car, which is pretty cool. However, Harry and Ellie also have different lives and they don't know that Jojo is time traveling. I like how two people in the book that she didn't really think made a significance in her life before she got hit by a car ended up being two of the most important people in her life by the end of the book. Personally, the 70s was my favorite. I'm not gonna give away details because I don't want to spoil it from you, but it was just super cool. When she got knocked into the 80s, that's when the book started getting crazy. So we go from following this girl, trying to adjust to a time period, to following this girl while mysteries are happening and things are just getting thrown into the book and the reader's just like, what? By the time she gets knocked into the 90s, the reader really just doesn't know what's gonna happen because it's so unpredictable at that point. There were so many twists and turns in this book. I really appreciate a good twist and turn. Even though there were many mysteries in the book, by the end of the book, everything pulled together into one. Everything made sense and that's what I really liked. As for the characters, I loved all the characters oh so much. They were all so real. I especially liked Jojo. She likes to keep things plain and simple. She likes to be in control. She's a numbers girl and she doesn't really do anything stupid in the story, which I really appreciate. As for the environment, it did give me good vibes. Like, this was a good vibes book. I found myself, like, coming home from school and I was just like, I cannot wait to read this book. I'm actually kind of depressed that I'm done with this book. The environment was very clear and easy to picture. It wasn't too descriptive. I don't like when a book is too descriptive because it kind of ruins, like, my imagination bit of it. But this was perfect. And that was my book talk for Step Back in Time. I really enjoyed this book. I think everybody needs to read it. Five out of five stars. If you're not following me or friends with me on Goodreads, my Goodreads will be down below if you want to keep up with what I'm reading right now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>